Hi, how you doing? Justin here, and today I'm gonna to take you through another exercise to help you internalize the note circle. It is really, really important that you know this stuff from memory. It's the foundation of all of the music theory to come. Super practical as well. It'll help you find the notes on the neck and find chords and scales and all of that stuff later on. It's really, really important. You can't be learning any sort of music theory without it, and it's a really, really practical part of music theory as soon as we start putting it onto the guitar neck. Now, what we're gonna start with is trying to say out loud the names of the notes, the alphabet names of the notes, forward and backwards. Now I'm pretty sure many of you are not going to struggle with saying A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And again, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Okay, so you're starting on A, going all the way around the alphabet and back to the A, remembering that we're not using the letter H. There are some countries that do use H, we're not even gonna start looking at that. It's too complicated. If you wanna Google it, then go and have a look around. But don't confuse yourself. It's not a very good system. So we just use A to G and then back to A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Okay? Now, we also wanna be able to say it backwards, which many of you are gonna find a little bit more challenging. But this is the kind of thing you can practice any way you want. Even you can practice it in your mind, you know, at, at any point in a boring meeting or whatever. So have a go at saying A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. You're gonna find it a little bit more challenging, okay? So we're going A backwards to G. A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Okay, for many of you, you're gonna be like, oh, that's harder than I anticipated. I've seen lots of students over the years that have thought, that's actually a, a lot harder than they thought. And it's gonna get a little bit trickier now because what we wanna be able to do is add in the sharps and flats all of the way around the note circle, okay? So if we start with sharps, we're gonna go up first of all, okay? So we go A, A sharp, B, C, because we remembered that there's no note in between B and C, okay? So we went straight from B to C. Then we go C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, because again, we remembered there's no note between E and F, then F sharp, G, G sharp, and back to A. Okay, so A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. And we've made ourselves all of the way around the circle. If you're struggling a bit, you remember that there should be 12 all together. Okay, so you could count on your hand. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp. Okay, that gives us 12. Two laps of the hand and then we're gonna end up on the second finger again, okay? So you could use that as a little checker if you're not sure, if you feel like you might be going wrong. Once you're confident with the sharps, have a go at using the flats, still going up. So we go A, B flat, B. Okay, so we know that we're going to B and a step up from A will be A sharp or B flat. So A, B flat, B, C, because we remember there's nothing, no note in between B and C. Then, so, so from B, C, D flat, D, E flat, E, F, G flat, G, A flat, A. Okay, so I'm not saying this is gonna be super easy. A lot of people find this really difficult, okay? But start with the sharps, so it's a little easier. Then see if you can go up, but using the flats. Then have a go at using the flats going the other way around the note circle. So we'll have A, a flat, G, G flat, F, E, remembering that there's nothing between E and F, then E flat, D, D flat, C, B, B flat, A. Now sometimes I have to, it's like, where am I? Because it's difficult, I, you know, I want to make sure I'm explaining it to you. Right, you know, it's making myself confused over something I know rather well. Well, at least I think I know it rather well. Anyway. So have a go at doing flats first of all, then have a go at doing sharps going backwards. So you'd have A, G sharp, G, F sharp, F, E, D sharp, D, C sharp, C, B, A sharp, A. Okay, so you're going backwards around the note circle, but using sharps. 
So if you can do those, you're really going to have that note circle very, very solid in your mind, and you probably won't have to refer to it again. It's one of those things that once you've learned it properly, you're not going to find that you need it all the time, okay? It's just like you know it. You don't have to keep practicing it. That would be very boring. And, uh, you know, admittedly, this is probably not the most exciting guitar thing that you've ever learned. But it's so super useful, and it's really like absolute foundation of music. music, Not just music theory or any particular instrument, but you just got to know what the notes are and how they connect together. So getting a real good visual picture of the note circle in your mind, trying to see around the clock circle and seeing the B and the C and the E and the F is not having a note between them, saying them up and down. Like I said, you want, you can practice that when you're out for a run or going for a walk or, you know, whatever it is. And if you're in a situation where you can stop and think, sometimes a good idea to close your eyes so you can kind of picture the note circle. Again, it's one of those things that you can do on the guitar as well. If you find that that would help, you could sit and go like A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E and backwards, E flat, D, D flat, C, B, B flat, A. You know, doing that and being able to kind of put your finger on it, well, you will find that to be very helpful as well. It'll also give you a little bit of knowledge of the notes on the fingerboard, which would be a great idea. If you stick on the A string just because the open A is the A, the open fifth string is the note A, which is top of the note circle, the beginning of the alphabet, but you could well start anywhere else if you wanted to. If you wanted to go a bit more advanced and try some of the other strings, that would be okay too. But don't try and rush yourself too fast with this stuff. It's better to do it nice and slowly and get it really solid rather than rushing ahead and having a, you know, a less than solid foundation. So I hope that makes sense. I'll see you for another lesson very soon. Bye-bye.